Valve has developed a reputation of excellence for a lot of reasons, and many of them are on display in their newest release, the Orange Box. As we've said in countless previews, this is one of the best deals we've ever seen in gaming, especially for those people that haven't played Half-Life 2 at all. With Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2, players can take the entire Half-Life 2 journey up to now in one swoop. If that was the entire package, it'd be hard to be too unhappy, even with Half-Life 2 being a three-year-old game. But Orange Box also comes with two other games in Portal and Team Fortress 2. They're quite a bit different than Half-Life in spirit, but offer up unique puzzle-based and multiplayer experiences that have exquisite style and beautiful senses of humor. The main thrust of the package is definitely Half-Life 2. If you haven't played it yet, you should now feel compelled to take the opportunity. The base game is still brilliant after three years, but you'll also get to play through both Episode 1, which is good, and the brand new Episode 2, which is spectacular. Those of you who have already played through the original and Episode 1 shouldn't scoff at the chance to play through everything together in the right order. It's as beautiful as reading a series of books from the start and offers up a view into development not often seen in gaming, as the complexity and visuals of the series increase over the episodes. The entire series will look fantastic on the PC, but also looks great on the console. Load times will be longer for the console players at about 20 seconds, which can be annoying given their frequency, but that's to be expected and shouldn't deter you from enjoying a well-crafted shooter. While many PC gamers have likely had the chance to check out Episode 1 already, this is the first time that console gamers will have the chance. It's a good bridge in the story and helps build up the character of Alex, but isn't quite as strong as the original or Episode 2, which is incredible. Episode 2, without giving too much away for those of you who haven't played Half-Life 2, sees Gordon Freeman and the rest of the crew moved out of City 17 and into the surrounding wild areas that happen to be filled with antlions and combine remnants. Valve has created widely varied levels, with claustrophobic fights, frantic defenses, outdoor driving missions, and plenty of corridor shooting missions that were so good from the original. This is the best looking of the Half-Life 2 saga and adds a wealth of engine tweaks to visuals and physics performance. Once again, Valve has created some of the best character models in gaming that can bring real emotion to character development. If you don't like the side characters by the end of Episode 2, there's something wrong with you. Portal also manages to tie in the Half-Life universe in some more subtle ways, but also gets a mention in Episode 2. For that alone, players will probably want to give Portal a shot. It's certainly not going to take a long time. From start to finish the first time through, it probably took us one and a half to two hours. The first 15 of 19 levels were pretty damn easy, with only the last few missions offering up much of a challenge. Even so, the puzzle game was consistent in its presentation and polish and offered up an evil sense of humor that had us wanting more by the end. Team Fortress 2 is the last piece of the puzzle, and though it doesn't factor into the Half-Life 2 universe, it's a worthy multiplayer game in its own right. With an amazing visual theme that includes some spectacular animations, your eyes will never have a dull moment. Valve has proved that visuals are not only about cutting edge technology, but also about style. Sound is equally as brilliant with character and every sound blurb and effect in the game. Thankfully, the gameplay holds up to the visual and auditory polish. Each of the nine available classes plays differently and has a distinct use and advantage. Teams will need good class balance in each of the various team-based game types that are associated with each map, and will need to work together to be successful. While the lone gunman play is possible, it's definitely better to work in a crew. Any complaints we have sit in mostly with the number of maps available at launch, which is six, and the fact that they're all exclusively tied to a game type. Though it is hard to complain too much since each of the maps was obviously specifically designed with each game type in mind. 360 players will be able to play it with up to 16 players on a server, while PC will be up to 32, which offers up a pretty fast-paced and deadly environment. Either way, it's a hell of a lot of fun and an awesome atmosphere to play in. Our recommendation for those of you that have always been interested in Half-Life 2 and haven't tried it is simple. Buy this package! Not only do you get one of the best single-player first-person shooters ever created, you also get the next two chapters, a 3D puzzle game that also happens to live in the Half-Life universe, and a terrifically fun team-based multiplayer first-person shooter. This is a lot of game in one package. Console users will only have had the chance to play Half-Life 2 without episodes, so it's easy to recommend even if you've already played through Half-Life 2 once. Now if you're just interested in Orange Box for Team Fortress 2 or Portal specifically, and have no intention of playing the other games, this package isn't going to be quite the stunning deal. PC users will find more options with a Steam account and credit card. Each of the parts is available for separate purchase. All the pieces individually add up to about 130 bucks. Even if you just want Team Fortress 2 and Episode 2 together, the Orange Box is a better deal for PC gamers. We think that Portal, even though it's good, is a bit overpriced because it's so short, and Team Fortress 2 will only have six maps at launch, making it also a bit overpriced. Though the one good thing about Team Fortress 2 is that it will have future downloadable maps, which makes 30 bucks a better deal for sure. 
Either way, if you're even remotely interested in even one of the other new games, we still recommend picking up the entire orange box. It's just too good a deal to pass up. Yeah.